So everyone knows you should be testing different AI models. Plot might be better for some use cases than GPT-4, and Gemini might be 10 times cheaper but produce the same exact quality. And then some unknown model might blow all of them out of the water. But not many people actually test all of these models. And the reason is because to do that, you would have to go sign up for different providers, input your credit card three times, get three different API keys, and then write a bunch of different code to handle all of the models. So we all just stick with the model that we've started with and we're used to and hope for the best. But what if I told you there was a way you can test thousands of models without having to sign up for a bunch of different accounts and juggle API keys. I'm Chris from Alawa and I'm going to show you the exact system that we use that I'm surprised I don't see a lot of developers taking advantage of. Let me show you what a lot of developers do when they want to use multiple models, even just for testing purposes. Say you wanted to test out GPT-4, Sonnet, and Gemini for your application. What you normally have to do is sign up for OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google Vertex separately, add your billing account and credit card to each of the platforms, and then prepay for credits on each of them, which are usually $10 to $15 minimums manage a separate API key for each provider, and then write different code to implement each of the APIs. And then if you wanna check how much you've used in the cost, you're gonna to have to go through three different separate dashboards and they have their own rate limits and quotas that you have to keep in mind. We were doing this for a while and every time we wanted to test a new model, we would lose hours of time just setting things up. And the worst part is sometimes you'd load up the credits, test the provider for a little bit and realize that you're not gonna use the model and you just have a bunch of unused credits sitting there. There had to be a better way and luckily we found it. There's a service called Open Router we started using and we are not sponsored at all. It's a service that gives you access to thousands of different models and you can test and swap them out with one line of code. All of this done through a single API. And here's the best part, it is actually compatible with the OpenAI SDK. So you can actually take the existing AI code you probably have and then easily swap OpenRouter into it with very minimal changes. Here's actually some code for what it looked like before we were using OpenRouter. And then here's what the code looked like after using OpenRouter. So you can see that instead of having to spin up different clients for each of the providers, we actually just have one client and we can swap the model out with literally one line of code. And more importantly for us, that's one billing account and one API key to manage. Let me show you how simple this is in practice. You sign up for OpenRouter and you add some credits. There's no need to purchase $50 worth of credits across five different platforms. You just do it one time on here. Since it just uses the OpenAI SDK, all you have to do is initialize your client just like this. But instead of putting the OpenAI URL, you just put the OpenRouter URL and your OpenRouter key. And then you use it just like you would with any other AI model. But all you have to do is swap the model parameter here to choose which model that you want to use. So if I wanted to switch from GPT-4 Turbo to Claude 3 Opus, all I have to do is change this line to Claude 3 Opus. Super easy. And the beauty is that you can test different models that you probably wouldn't have otherwise. For example, we tested DeepSeek and Mistral, which would have been super annoying if we had to set up each one of these things individually. And some of these models might be 10 times cheaper, but just as performant, and you would have never known if you didn't try. Here are the benefits and here's what we learned. This dramatically increased the speed of development because what would have taken hours to set up now just takes a few minutes and we can test and swap models without having to hit up our billing department to go spin us up different accounts. There's been a dramatic cost reduction for our clients because we are now able to test some of these more smaller unknown models really quickly and then see can we get away with getting a lower price while not taking hit on quality. We would never have tried and discovered some of these models if this wasn't as easy to do. The other thing is we've been able to rapidly understand what each of the model's strengths are. Because we've been able to swap and try out a bunch of different models for different cases, we've learned some interesting things like Grok for some reason is really good at handling time zones compared to something like Sonnet or even Opus. We even learned some things that surprise us like the open source Llama model models were actually surprisingly good at extracting structured output compared to some of the other more state-of-the-art models while being 20 times cheaper. Here's another benefit that we discovered. If you're using AI coding tools like Claude Code, when you're working with different providers, you usually have to send in different documentation for each of the models that you're using. So I would send in the Gemini documentation and then the OpenAI documentation. But if you're using OpenRouter, you can just send in the OpenRouter documentation once and it has all of the information you need because they did unify the API experience to work across all of these different models. Every model works almost the same way. They have the same structured outputs, the same function and tool calling methods. When you're trying a new model on this platform, you have a high confidence that it works the same way. If you're using open source models like Llama, Mistral, or the new GPT OSS models, there's something that a lot of people don't talk about that could actually really impact your application. And that's the same open source model can run completely differently, especially when it comes to speed, depending on the provider that you choose. OpenRouter is great because they actually support multiple 
sub providers, you can access the same exact model on a different provider through Open Router. Let me show you what I mean by those differences. So let's take a look at GPT OSS 120B. The same model, but across different providers, has completely different token per second speeds. If you look at it through the Paracel provider, you get around 67 tokens per second, which is pretty slow in my opinion. But if you use it through Cerebrus, you get 2,400 tokens per second. This is the exact same model, just through a completely different provider. Now, the cost is a bit different, so if you wanna use it through Cerebrus, it is gonna be a little bit more expensive versus something like Parasail. But the beauty of using Open Router is that this is your choice to make. Aside from just cost and speed differences, some providers actually don't support certain things like tool calling, for example. So being able to use Open Router and see this and quickly switch between the different providers is a really big deal if you plan on using these open source models. And in terms of switching between providers, it's just as simple as switching between the models. All you have to do is add this one line at the end to specify which provider you want to use with that model. Let's talk about the downsides of using a platform like this. Number one is the cost. There is a 5% fee to use Open Router. So any cost you have, there's basically a 5% added on top of it. In our opinion, that 5% fee is well worth it to be able to increase the speed of development time. And to be honest, once you're done with development, you could just go ahead and sign up for all the different providers and then just continue to use Open Router for development purposes. And that's the approach we take, Open Router for development. We sign up for the actual providers when we're actually in production. The next thing is there are some documentation gaps. We have found that Open Router sometimes does have outdated documentation, especially for things that are quickly changing, like how function calling or how thinking tokens are counted for the new GPT-5 mini models. Some of these things we have noticed are a little bit outdated in certain parts of the documentation and have caused us some confusion. Next is limited SDK support. So if you're using stuff like Brain Trust or the Vercel AI SDK, they usually do have some integrations, but they are community supported integrations. So you will find that Open Router is typically not a first class citizen. If you're using some of these systems alongside Open Router, you might find that some things are breaking or some documentation is outdated just because it's not a focus for these providers. A cool bonus is we actually have a testing suite that we developed. It's completely free, but it's built on top of Open Router. So you can actually go to our testing suite. You put in your Open Router key. This is all client side. We are not storing this key, but then it'll allow you to use our playground to be able to test different models out and see how they're performing in terms of output quality and the speed and cost. And this is the same tool we use internally when we want to do some quick tests just to see how the models are performing. Tool is completely free and the link is in the description. In terms of when to use Open Router, I recommend using it when you're in the development stage, when you're not 100% confident what models you want to test, or if you have a hypothesis that you want to test with a specific model in mind. And then switch off of Open Router if you are 100% confident in what model you're selecting. If you have a lot of volume and you want to save on that 5% fee, just go ahead and sign up for the provider. Or if you need HIPAA compliance or some sort of specific security requirement, Open Router does not support that use case just yet. The biggest mistake we see companies doing is picking a specific model and provider just because they already have a billing account with them. Instead, what you should be doing is testing a bunch of different models, especially the non-mainstream ones, just to see how it works in your specific use case. And Open Router is the way that we do this really quickly. And that's what we're doing for ourselves and all the apps that we develop. If you wanna see more videos on how we build out AI applications, check out the other videos on our channel. We talk about how to make medical grade HIPAA compliant AI applications. And we've also started an AI Builders Discord, which I'll leave a link to the description if you want to chat with myself and other people that are building with AI. And last, I'll leave a link to our website if you are a company that is interested in building AI applications and you want to chat with me or someone else on my team, I'll leave a link for that below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next video.